Today we are opening not one, but two Majestic Star Dragon Tins. What's up guys, today we have an Epic Tin opening. We're opening these two Majestic Star Dragon Tins, as well as this Mega Tin 2021. But first we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you want to see from any of these tins. We have new tin, we have old tin. It's gonna be fun. Let's start off with one of the Majestic Star Dragon Tins. These were sent by a viewer to be open. The same viewer that we pulled the Ultimate Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon about a month Month ago inside of here is the second wave from 2009 the packs include two stardust overdrive booster packs one ancient prophecy one raging battle one crimson crisis and one secret rare card i don't think there are any first editions in these but i'm not totally sure so let's go right into this first one the promo should be pretty cool i don't remember how they stored them in 2009 though so let's open this thing up we have two of these in this video and then we have of course the new 2021 mega 10 all right oh okay so the the card kind of rolls around a little bit on its own but at least it's on top of packs and not the weird stuff like in 2003 okay so secret rare majestic star dragon very nice back looks very clean that's a very good condition one then inside we have a few packs let's see if any are first edition oh first edition start us overdrive these might be european i think in european they sometimes have the first editions we could pull the ghost rare of this guy so secret rare we could pull ultra ghost ultimate rare all that stuff ancient prophecy unlimited and crimson crisis and raging battle this should be a lot more fun than i thought i thought these were unlimited okay so we're obviously going to save the first edition packs for the end so we have that nice promo nice packs let's start off with these unlimited packs Ancient Prophecy, last time had great luck for this viewer, the specific viewer who sent these in. We got him an Ultimate Rare, so it was first edition. Imagine if we got him the Ghost Rare, unlimited. That'd be pretty cool. It's a major upset. We would not be majorly upset. We wouldn't be upset at all, actually. We'd be majorly excited. Psychic Soul. Skill Successor, it's a Super Rare. I always... I just remember this is super rare, not because I can tell that it's actually super. Look at that, it looks common, does it not? Like there's some slight, slight foiling on it. We'll take it though, a super rare. I'm pretty sure we might have pulled him that last time. All right, Psychic Emperor and Slip of Fortune, Scary Moth, the legend. I am slightly congested today, so sorry if I'm sounding a little bit lower in terms of my voice, but uh, we just gotta do what we gotta do. We're almost at eight straight months of videos. We're not missing a video because of congestion. Here we go, we got a Mind Trust. Morphtronic Vidion, this is Raging Battle. We could pull the Power Tool Dragon, which would be incredible. Wicked Rebirth. Black Wing Armed Wing. That's actually a very good card, too. Super Rare Armed Wing. All right, we're two for two to start. This is a good start to this opening. These are the unlimited packs, but I've never pulled an Armed Wing. That's a very cool card. We got the Quacky Mirror Ice. We got the Spined Gilman. Bind. Oh, Oaths, not Oasis. And Proof of Powerlessness. Okay. Crimson Crisis. Let's go. I'm, I don't know if I've ever pulled anything good out of the set. I feel like I never pulled anything good. We have a Soul Counter. Blackwing, Sirocco the Dawn. Ebon Arrow. Okay, we have pulled this before, which reminds me we have pulled something good, but here we go. Here's something good. We've got the Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode Ultra Rare. We never pulled anything good. Pulls the cover card. And then I remember that we have pulled this once before. Very nice card. If this is a Ghost Rare, the hand pokes out like in 3D. It's really cool. Then we got the Assault Beast, Half or Nothing, Submarine Frog, Boar of the Spear, and Raptor Wing. We are now three for three. Now, can we continue the streak into the first edition packs? Please. Send us the luck in the comments, guys. Oh, I already... I opened this from the bottom somehow. Interesting. Um, was that already like cut open like that? That's weird. All right, Ground Spider. We got a Savage Coliseum. Tuned Magician. We are looking for... Majestic Star Dragon Ghost Rare. Here we go. I saw the Synchro Black Bradrago. Bradrago. Super rare. We are now four for four on 10 openings. If you guys have watched 10 openings very much on my channel, you know four for four is absolutely crazy. Crazy lucky. Of course, unfortunately, it was not the Ghost Rare, but we will take that. That is incredible. Final pack of this 10. We still have another 10. We have an, then we have the 2021 Mega 10. Wow. Okay. Regulus, we get the quick draw synchron. Can we go five for five? I don't know if we've ever done that to be honest. Roll the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, and Fortune Lady Water. We will not go the legendary five for five, but I still have hope maybe at one day we will do it. And next, we're gonna do the 2021 Mega 10. This is my opening, so hopefully, we can pull something good for me and then head back for the viewer and pull him something amazing. Okay, we've got our three packs here inside of the Mega 10. Let's open these up. The Crossout Designator has tanked in price. It used to be over 100 bucks when it first came out in the original, you know, listings. And then it fell all the way down to like $55. So it's still worth a lot. We still want it, but wow, it fell off. Dogmatica Punishment. There's a very good secret rare. 
Mahama, and Reshidal Windy. Okay, so this is a pretty decent card. It's about 3 or $4, but not crazy. Two more packs. We're looking for Cross Out Designator. We're looking for Triple Tactics, Talents, the Zeus. There's tons of good cards in here that we could pull. All right, we've got the... Uh, oh, we just somehow Rux and Special three card, four cards. Doll Dice. Out Emancipator Relief. We got the Armory Call. Sky Striker Ace Rose is a nice card. And True Light, nice blue eyes card. And Gizmek Kaku, very nice. And then some more commons. I don't think any of the commons hold too much value. Final pack of this tin, then we get back into the Majestic Star Dragon tin. The final one, which hopefully will have a crazy pull. Melfi Playhouse, Goki Iron Call, or Claw, I should say, Device, Hide and Seek, the Tie Strike, Melfi of the Forest, Porn Pal Turn Trooper. Ooh, Dogmatica Ecclesia, I think is like over $12. That's a very good one. Ooh, and Divine Arsenal Zeus with the Virtual World GG. Very good. GG on that opening. Very nice. Divine Arsenal Zeus, I think, went up after the release, which is nice. All right, so great opening so far. I pulled some good stuff for myself out of that tin. The first Majestic Star Dragon tin was awesome. Let's see what the second one can do. All right, let's check the promo. Will we have another nice promo? The first one was very nice. For the second one, I should say, looks just as nice from what I can tell. Very good. Very good tins. Two more first edition packs. We have the same unlimited packs. Let's see what we can pull. We went three for three on the unlimited packs last time. Let's see if we can do that again. We have the Scary Moth, the Morphtronic Magnet, Depth Amulet, Advanced Draw, and the Falcon B. All right, it looks like we will not do that again. We are already starting 0 for 1. Let's see. I've never pulled a Ghost Rare out of a tin. I've pulled Ultimate Rare cover cards. I've pulled Ultra Rare cover cards, Secret Rares, but I have never pulled a Ghost Rare out of a tin. I would love for that to happen for somebody else. That'd be awesome. Black Ring Shura, Level Returner. And a Level Warrior. We have another Super Rare, so another Foil. We are now... Five out of seven. That's pretty, pretty good. We have Against the Wind, Lava Dragon, Urgent Synthesis, Doom, and Alien Dog. Still three more packs. Still hope to pull some amazing stuff. Ghost Rare. That is what we were hoping for. Whew, hit the like button for luck, guys. Here we go. Hydra Viper. We got the Morphtronic Slingen. Ebon Arrow. Dark Tinker. Ah, oh, I love the old Dark Tinker. Oh, we got some special. The Arcane Barrier. All right, nothing in there. And Doot Frog. All right, it's down to the first edition packs. We were one for three in this 10, which was worse than last time. But if we could pull a crazy card out of the first edition packs, it would make it all worth it. So let's make it happen. Oh. Get these out of here. All right. Ocelion. Insect Neglect. Dime Passage. Knight of the Red Lotus. This is a classic from Duel Links. This was in an early set. It's a Gemini card. It brings back some... I mean, you could use it in Gemini decks because it brings back normal monsters, I believe. Very cool. It was actually not that bad. I mean, it's not that good. You know, in real... It's not good in real Yu-Gi-Oh! A point of the Red Lotus. That's a very good one. Was a crazy valued common until they reprinted it. It was around like $20 or something like that, which is just crazy for a common. Final pack of the opening. Can we pull a Ghost Rare from one first edition pack? Roar of the Earthbound. Here we go. Believe in the comments. Let me know if you think we'll pull it. Synchro Barrier. 1 in 288. This would be it if it's it. I mean, if it's a Ghost Rare, it would be right here. Herculean Power. Stardust. Zenglong or Zhaolong or something. And Enlightenment. All right. No Ghost Rare. Still a pretty awesome opening with six foils and two tins. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.